Hi everyone, let's take a look at problem 2-4 where we're given a trial balance of Sterling Company but it has some problems with it. Let me slide a little bit and we'll see what the instructions are. Okay, right there to the left of my mouse. Prepare a correct trial balance. Notice that the chart of accounts includes the following. A drawing and supplies account and there's a hint to prepare the journal entries for the transactions described and compare it to the mistakes made. Okay, there's some other information as well. Um, we discover that there's these seven errors. Oh, and also that first sentence right there is critical. Your review of the ledger reveals that each account has a normal balance. Okay, so what I want to do is make some adjustments. And we'll just create an adjustment column here. And these will be our debits and these will be our credits. And let's see if we can work through these. We'll uh, just underline that so we have some idea. Um, the first item is we have to get everything to a normal balance. Okay, so look at accounts receivable has a credit balance. Well, that really needs to be a debit balance. So um, we're going to need to increase that by two to, to, for that to show up as a 2750 debit balance. Let me, uh, let me format a bunch of this and hopefully um, we'll minimize how much formatting we have to do in the future. Okay, what else looks wrong? Accounts payable is a credit, that's correct. Oh, look at that, property tax payable is a debit. If that was a normal balance, it would be a credit. So we have to multiply that times two to make that adjustment correct. Um, capital accounts a credit. Service revenue, same thing. Service revenue should be a credit, so we've got to multiply that times two. Advertising expense needs to be a debit. Let's multiply that times two. Um, and property tax expense, that's correct. Okay, with that, then we can um, put our first balance to see if we're, we're in the ballpark with the debits equaling the credit. So let's put, uh, let's put another debit and credit over here. And we'll call this one um, uh, normal balance adjustments. Okay, and then this time this will be our adjusted trial balance. And, uh, and I'm going to have to slide or shrink some of this a little bit so you can see it. Um, let's see, maybe we can slide this a little bit, shrink this a little bit. And put that like that. And let's see if we can just force this now. So this would be the sum of that plus that. If we copy that down to all debit balance. Uh, oh, we're going to have to make a little bit of other adjustments as well. But um, Let's see. Okay, those ones look right. Now, accounts receivable, we're going to have to take that debit minus that credit to come up with that correct balance. And accounts payable, we can simply copy to get our credit balance. Here we're going to have to take that credit minus that debit balance to come up with the 560 the correct way. Uh, Sterling Capital, that should be fine. And we've got a debit that needs to rever be reversed, so We'll take that 13,380 minus that debit to come up with that balance. And the advertising expense has to be that debit less that credit amount. And if we've done all of that correctly, um, we should be able to balance. Now we're off just a slight amount, and let's see if we can figure out why. Okay, well we're off $50. Let's leave that for now and see if we can find that in a minute or two. Okay, now we're going to have to make some other adjustments as well. Um, how's the best way we can do this on the screen? I think I'm going to shrink this a little bit because I'm going to want some other columns. I'm going to shrink this down. I'm going to want even more than that. We'll just shrink wherever we can. Try to read the problem as we go. Okay, so let's put some other adjustments here. I'll just copy this over, and then these will be what we'll call transaction adjustments. 
and we'll work from there. Okay, well, we already knew that there was a um, normal balance. We also discover the following errors. Uh, one, the total of the debit sides of prepaid insurance property tax in were each, and this reads, understated by $100. Okay, so what we know is prepaid insurance has to be increased by $100. So there's a debit there, right? Um, accounts payable and property tax expense all have to be increased by $100. So a, a positive increase to accounts payable as a credit and property tax would be increased by $100 as well. Okay, next let's take a look at number two. Number two says transposition errors were made in accounts receivable and service revenue. Um, based on postings made, the correct balances were 2570 and 6960. Okay, so with the accounts receivable error, we know that that 2750 was supposed to be a 2570, so we need to reduce that. So what we'll do is um, we'll make an adjustment that reduces it equal to 2750 minus 2570. And I think that's, uh, what is that, 180? Okay, now we'll also need to do the same thing for service revenue. The service revenue says it should be 6960 instead of 6690. So we need to reduce that. We'll take the 6960 less the 6690 and make that as an adjustment, which will reduce the balance. So 270 comes out of there. All right, number three, a debit postings to salaries expense of $200 was was omitted. So that means we have to increase salaries expense by $200. So a debit will increase that. Number four, a 1000, this is a cash drawing by the owner, was debited to M. Sterling Capital for $1000 and credited to cash for $1000. Okay. Okay, well a cash drawing debited to M. Sterling Capital is fine. It's just that we don't have the account showing. So let's add that in. And I'll just insert a row here and we'll create that account. On second thought, let me put that directly under the capital account so they stay together. So we'll create an account here called drawing. Get this out of the way. And we know that we need to put that 1,000 uh, drawing that was debited in there. There's the thousand drawing. Let me read this again. Um, drawing of the owner was debited to M. Sterling Capital for 1000 and credited to cash for 1000 Okay. Um, and the cash, we're assuming, was already included so that there's no adjustment that needs to be made there. We're not exactly sure how they recorded that, but maybe that explains why debits don't equal the credits. Okay, now number five reads a, um, a 520 purchase of supplies on account was a debited to equipment for 520 and credited to cash for 520. Alright, so now what we've got is 520 to equipment needs to come out and that needs to go instead to um, to uh, what account is that? It is a supplies account. Now if we don't have a supplies account we're going to need to create one. Okay, so we will create one and I'll put it right above the equipment. Alright, so we need a 520 debit there. Okay, now let's take a look at number six. A cash payment of 450 what is it? For advertising was debited to advertising expense. That sounds right. For oh, for forty-five dollars, and credited to cash for forty-five dollars. Okay. So advertising expense 
had in that 1,100 there uh, was overstated by some amount, so we're going to need to reduce that. And we'll reduce it by the 450 less the 45 because that's the dollar amount that it was off. And we had that same problem with cash as well. So we'll in we need to reduce cash. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got this on the wrong side. Since it was an overstatement, we need to put it on that side. And then I can copy that and show that cash really didn't decrease by the 450, but, but uh, only by 45. So we need to increase cash by the difference, which is $405. Okay? And you can see all I'm doing is computing the difference there in cell M12. All right, what's next? A collection from a customer of 210 was debited to cash for 210 and credited to accounts payable for 210. Well, the debit to cash was correct, but the credit to accounts payable um, is incorrect. That would be from a customer should go to accounts receivable. So in addition to that amount, um, excuse me, in addition to that amount right there, we then need to subtract off, this is in cell N13, and I know you can't see this, it's sliding off the screen, but I'm going to subtract off um, that additional $210. Okay, uh, maybe I can shrink some of this a little bit, yeah, to show you that then what I did, well, it still isn't going to show real well. I, we had the other adjustment, and then I've subtracted out another $210. So, so uh, actually, since it is a credit, I need to need to add that in. So we've got a $390 reduction between the other adjustment and the $210 reduction we just put in. Okay. Um, and in an accounts payable, of course, we've got to do just the opposite side. Since they decreased it, we need to increase that by the $210. Okay, now in number five, I think we mi missed a piece. A $520 purchase of supplies on account was debited equipment for $520 and credited to cash. Well, if that was made on account, then we've also got to adjust the cash balance. And what that means is the cash was credited in error, so here too, I'm going to hit the F2 and then add that $520 in because we've got to get that one in there as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just slide this over a little bit. Let's see if we can get a couple more in here and see if we can put a final adjusted trial balance in here. Okay, so this one was just a temporary. This will be our real one. And then what we can do is say, uh, compute the entire balance. So now we had an adjusted balance of 58.50. Let's add in those debits. Um, accounts receivable, we had a balance of 27.50. We better subtract out that credit balance. Uh, here we've got debits. Um, uh, supplies, debits. Now here we've got an adjusted balance less a credit, so I have to subtract to come up with that. Accounts payable goes on this side, credit side, take the credit, um, minus the debit plus the credit, so we come up with that amount. Prop, uh, property tax is payable, There's, we had no adjustments, so we'll just put the balance in. Same thing with sterling, now the drawing account had a debit, so that debit balance gets transferred. Um, service revenue, we start off with the adjusted credit balance and then we subtract out the debit. Oop, and by the way, that needs to be on this side, so let me just move that. Salaries expense, a normal debit, we take the adjusted balance plus the next adjusted balance. Advertising expense, we take our previous adjusted balance um, and then we have to subtract out the credit, reducing it. Property tax expense, we had a debit and we had to increase that $100. Okay, now we're going to have some idea to know if we've covered everything. Okay, we're still out of balance, so we've got to look for a few items to see what we missed.
Okay, one thing I see in the cash account uh, that wasn't handled correctly is it says a cash payment of 450 of advertising was debited to advertising expense and was credited to cash um, uh, for $45. I read that wrong. Um, let me read this. A cash payment of $450 for advertising was de debited to advertising expense for $45 and uh, credited to cash for $45. So I think I interpreted that the wrong way. What that's saying is the, the first part of this, it, it, let me hit the F2 here. You see that we had this first transaction, he, uh, the first two numbers, and then the 520 was another transaction. Well, what happens is the 520 is correct, but the $45 was supposed to be for four hundred and fifty instead of forty five so we've got to subtract that instead of adding it so I take that four four fifty minus the forty five so we have a subtraction of uh, four hundred and five and now we take the adjusted balance plus the debit amount less the credit amount and we come up with five thousand nine hundred and sixty five that's correct okay now let's look at the next issue we have to resolve. Okay, the next the next item is the accounts payable. We've got a couple items here that I don't think we handled correctly.